<laughs> Hydromatic props. <laughs> Counterweight. No. No. Well, how do you know that? Because it doesn't, doesn't have it. Because it says it right there. Moves props to low pitch, high RPM is? Old pressure. Consensual twisting force. Moves prop to high, high. Moves prop to high pitch. Oil pressure. Oil pressure. Oil pressure. Um, well, I got oil pressure both times. That would be governor oil pressure, though, this time, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Do you want me to write a bunch of notes about the hydromatic prop? Huh? You got it? No. Want me to write it? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because Tobias like, I was in the bathroom anyway. Yeah. All right, pressure cut. Let me see. Operation. Where, where do I leave off? Uh, G, operation. Want the lights on? Well, not Andrea. She said yes. All right. <coughs> okay. I went with what we had to begin with. So the uh, hydromatic uses governor oil oil pressure to drive the prop to both high and low pitch. Let's add to this in a double acting governor. Governor. Um, with a single Oops, I was thinking of something while I was writing. Single acting engine oil pressure plus centrifugal twisting force. Oops, wait a minute. Let's add to that. Engine oil pressure um, outboard plus centrifugal twisting force drives prop to low blade angle, right? Low blade angle, high RPM. And and governor pressure to drive to um, high blade angle, which is low RPM. There we go. Distributor valve? Nope. Distributor valve stays put. Okay. It is pre aligned and it does not change for high RPM, low RPM. Okay. Only to unfeather. Only to unfeather. Okay. It's the only time the distributor valve moves. Um, I think after writing that little bit, I don't need to write the rest, which would be for an underspeed oil pressure sent to the back side of the piston to move it forward, oil the front is drained off, for an overspeed the oil pressure sent to the front side, move it backwards. I think what I wrote there is better than that, so, so the, we'll leave that. With the double acting governor, right, the opposite of the single acting governor, you don't have oil, engine oil pressure, you just have governor. Yes. Okay. Should I write that? I, I just 
make sure I understand. What's that? I just want to make sure I understand. Yeah. So this is all yeah, I'm, kind I'm of. I'm trying to understand it as well a little bit. Side note right there. There we go. We'll go side note there. And then we'll do this. That did not work. So on the double acting. Okay, back to the double acting. Okay. This is where there's prop, um, there's governor pressure on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then it either moves or... Okay, so follow this. The little stuff I put in brackets, that was just kind of a sidebar thing. Yeah. Now we're back to the double acting. For an underspeed. For an underspeed. Oil pressure is sent to... Oil pressure is sent to... Uh, back side of piston, or back side or inboard. Let me just double check that. Over speed or under speed? Uh, Over outboard? Hang on. Yeah. Let me see. What was I talking about? You under started speed. saying under speed. Under speed. For an under speed. Oh, the governor button. is drained off. For an underspeed, oil pressure is sent to. Oops. Mm -hmm. Let me see. For, this is underspeed. Um, oh, oops, wait a minute. No, we do not want this one. We do not want this one. We wanted. Double acting. This one. Underspeed. So, what I said for an underspeed, oil pressure sent to. Inboard. Oil pressure, oil to inboard side of the piston to decrease pitch. Under Which speed. I also think that this Under one speed. is reversed in the way that the actual cam is moving. Oh, under speed, we have oil pressure to the backside. Inboard. Because with the one out there. Yeah. When but I don't think that's piston, a double acting. I know, but oh. when the piston moves out, yeah. it goes to high blade angle. That one saying that moving out goes to a low blade angle. Okay. It's like I that, told that you there's angle. different versions. I know. That's like, this, like really screw you up. That's why I was almost hesitant to do all this. So, but we'll go with it. So there we go. So in an underspeed, oil is sent to the back side of the piston or the inboard on this particular one. What? <laughs> Sherman's back there cracking up about something. Want to share? What is it? They're just being crabby. Crabby? Yes. They're touching each other's butts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be touching them. All right. Under speed. Oil pressure sent to the backside inboard. Backside inboard of piston. Moving it forward. And then oil or engine oil. Let's be specific. <coughs> Oops, no, oil. It's not engine oil. Oil is drained from outboard. Two. For overspeed. For overspeed. There we go. Overspeed. Oil pressure sent to the front side or outboard of the piston and moves it backwards. So for this one, it doesn't have the distributor, right? It does have the distributor. There seems to be some confusion over the distributor valve. So let me restate the distributor. The distributor is locked in place and never moves, except under one condition, and that is unfeathering. So in order to do that, you have to push in the feathering button 
you have to hold it until it builds up to around 750 psi. It will then it then it'll press against the the pilot valve, which is being held in place by a spring. Realign it so that the pump, not the governor, but the electric pump, sends oil to the other side of the dome. Okay. So for overspeed. Oil is sent to the front side. Oil pressure is sent to front side, which is inboard or outboard? Outboard. 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 Somebody's listening. Um, front, uh, to front side, outboard, to move it back. And then obviously, oil is drained. from inboard. And then for, for on speed, um, pilot valve blocks all oil. Okay, then we got the two cams. So the two cams work together. To double the movement, to double. The outer cam is stationary. Inner cam is rotated. I would bring one in here, but I'm not lifting that damn thing. Yes, yep. Or like this. The outer cam has bears that match with the gears on blade. So, yes, yeah, it has bears. bears. Okay. Autocorrect. Oh. It has gears bears. that mesh. I know. It would have been better if it was bears um, with gears. Bears. gears on the blade. And you saw those in the movie, which the movie has some value to it. You can see that the gears on the blades and they, off, they offer up the dome. And the dome goes in there and it had those, had those gears and you have to, obviously they were, they didn't mention it, but I guess they did. You gotta line up the, all the blades. And so when the gears go in, they're actually in the right spot. You can't just kind of guess and go for it. Because one tooth equals 10 degrees. 10 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be how much RPM? Well, it's fine because on a three-bladed prop like they had, if you had the bottom blade off by 10 degrees more pitch, it would climb faster. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got it on the right side blade, it's going to, you know. That's how they do Reno Air Race planes. They get the outboard blade a little bit more pitch, so it turns left faster. <laughs> Really can try and stuff us. <laughs> 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 what? Oscar's really thinking. I know. Look at Oscar. Yeah, those hamster wheels are going turbo mode right now. Maybe this class would be better on drugs. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I can see that. <laughs> I can picture it in my mind. Uh, on the blade. I'm not advocating that. <laughs> Um, and <coughs> move out of thus in there. Rotate the blades. Rotate the blades. <laughs> New angle. All right, feathering system. All right, everybody's clear on 
and, I, and I'm happy to go over it again and again. I have no problem with that. Unfortunately, I'm probably out of words, so I would just say it slower and louder. Um, no. About... You pushed No, no. Before we get into feathering, how it actually works. So it's either, we could say it's got system A, which is a double acting governor, which will put high pressure on one end or high pressure on the other. Um, like I said, I don't expect you to memorize if it's outboard or inboard. Um, during the oral, then I would expect you to at least be able to look at the sheet and explain it because it looks like that. If it's not the double acting and it's the single acting governor, which you're very familiar with because it's pretty much the same as the Macaulay and the Hartzell, and I believe it's the exact same governor that you're literally taking apart and doing the oral on. It's That's a Hamilton standard governor. So it's a single acting governor that you're doing the oral on. So that's why I'm sticking with the single acting. Probably should just change this whole lecture and talk single acting and leave it at that. But um, how in um, one condition it will um, add engine oil only to bring the piston back to put the blades into a lower pitch or in an overspeed it will add oil pressure just like always to the piston and move it the other way bringing the blades to a higher blade angle towards feather got it there is a distributor valve but up to this point it has been completely useless it, it, the only thing that I can say it really provided for us is multiple pathways. As where all of the other props we talked about, we had the front of the crankshaft had a pathway that was that big around. And there were not multiple holes in it. Oil either went through and went to the prop or it drained from the prop and went back to the engine. That was it. There's no tubes. There's no pipes in there. There's nothing else going on. So one pipe either oil into the propeller or drain from the propeller. Only options you had. Now we're looking at something that's got a bunch of pipes in there and they do that by shoving this distributor valve in there. So for the most part you have one pathway that goes around to the front. I can do that again, let me see. Okay. Let's pick a different color, blue. So you can see there's only, you like those games where you have to, you know, help Timmy find the, the coin or whatever? Oh, All right. The, the, electric, the electric wand that you have to go over the... Uh, oh, whatever. Wire. The one you get at Denny's. Did you go to prom when you went to high school? No, I was going to say, it's probably whatever restaurant he went to prom. Um, they gave you a little coloring book. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the little one you, Okay. <laughs> Right, and so you just gotta. How do we get? How do we get to this path over here? We gotta help this guy get to that path. So yeah, you know, just two. follows down around, and nope, that doesn't count because it's blocked. See, it, it's got a. Goes up and around. I thought in normal operation it was open, see? but Look. it's when it switches that it closes it off. You see that? It's only got one way through. Which the other way is when. We got one way through, so oil pressure comes around and in, and there it is. So you got one path through. Now let's look at the other one. Is when it's blocked. Purple. So the red, the red has only got one path. Right. So you got one tube in, one tube out, and the distributor valve. It doesn't care if the red is flowing this way. It doesn't care if the red is flowing that way. The yellow does not care if it's flowing this way. It does not care if it's flowing that way. It's just a pipe. That moves occasionally. Yes. When you need it. Yes, but then it's going to care, right? So otherwise, it does not care. Good. We good? Yep. All right. I don't know what I want. Okay, so feathering system. Did I have a picture for the feathering system that was worth a underspeed, overspeed, on speed? Feathering, yay. All right, we'll write more about this tomorrow because it is what time? It's time to go. Well, it's not.